Hey Tech Talkers, we are at the Chinese New Year celebrations in London and we are here to ask a few questions. Which AI tools do you generally use in your work? I use Copilot, ChatGPT, ChatGPT or Gemini. ChatGPT and Resume AI, DeepSeek as well. I work in a fintech company, so we've actually created our own version of AI tools. So we build on broad GPT to create our own internal okay. in-house tools. Have you heard about DeepSeek? Uh, the Chinese one that yeah. causes a bit of a, a ripple in the markets. Yes. I saw Nvidia go down about 10%. I haven't used it myself, but competition's good. And how about DeepSeek? I've never used it, but I've heard of it. I've never used it. No, Helen. What do you think about the data security? It's not safe either using ChatGPT or DeepSeek. Yeah. I don't really enter anything useful, so I don't really care. I didn't think about this. I have no idea. But would you trust GPT over DeepSeek? I don't trust anyone. Do you yeah. trust their data security? <laughs> <laughs> I'd say that's a little ambiguous because although the AI tools say we don't violate copyright, we don't scrape content creators copyrighted but stuff, we know they are. My view is it's a necessary evil because you'll never have a sophisticated AI without giving it information to eat. So unless it's going to have to consume copyrighted data, a cr truly creative and innovative stuff in order to, you know, progress. Otherwise, it'll be only be able to act on very limited data. Your system is only as strong defensively as you make it. So if it's a system that's easily attacked by an AI tool, that's more of a problem with your defense. Well, DeepSeek is new and gaining popularity, but experts have raised concerns over its non-transparent data storage and terms of service. Over the coming weeks, we shall cover its vulnerabilities, privacy risks, and mitigation strategies. Stay tuned.